Hello everyone, great to see you today. Welcome to Refill with Pastor Mag. I'm up here in my office at Crossroads Church, and okay, it's not really an office, it's a corner we carved out. That's right, we are continuing to grow our children's ministry, and that's great to see. But today we are in Psalm 58. Now, Psalm 58 is super intense, but it's all about justice, okay? It's something that we hear a lot about right now, justice. So let's take a look at Psalm 58, and then we'll break it down. The psalmist says, Do you indeed decree what is right, you gods? Do you judge the heart of men uprightly? No. In your heart, in your hearts you devise wrongs. Your hands deal out violence on earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray from birth, speaking lies. They have venom, like the venom of a serpent. Like the deaf adder that stops its ears so that it does not hear the charmers or the cunning enchanter. O God, break the teeth in their mouth. Tear out the fangs of the young lions, O Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs away. When he aims his arrows, let them be blunted. Let them be like a snail that dissolves into slime. Like the stillborn child who never sees the sun. Sooner than your pots can feel the heat of thorns, whether green or ablaze, may he sweep them away. The righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mankind will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. Did I not say intense? This is one of those, those psalms that is just, wow. And very intense but as you can see it's all about justice we're at the very beginning in verse 1 um, it says do you indeed decree what is right you gods now something that's interesting here another way to translate you gods is asset is actually uh, mighty lords you can imagine the people of the kingdom of Israel they are uh, being ruled over they are maybe they have a, a king that's not following God if you read the book of uh, first and second kings especially second kings you're going to see that all over the place where people that are serving themselves and not god are in charge and that's what the psalmist is asking here are the people who are in charge are they ruling over them with hearts that um that are looking after people the way they should be looked after are they judging the children of man uprightly and what does the psalmist say no it says no in verse two in your hearts you devise wrongs your hands deal out violence on the earth the judges are not judging correctly they're not leading things right they are calling what is good wrong and what is wrong good things are turned around and the psalmist and the people that are singing this psalm are saying it's not right it's not okay and so what do they want to have happen Wow some intense things uh, things like that they're estranged from the womb they go away speaking uh, lies they have venom, like the venom of a serpent, like a death adder, um, so that it does not hear the voice of the charmers. It's a snake that goes around biting everyone and just killing everyone, and it doesn't respond to how it's supposed to work. Um, he's praying that God breaks out their teeth and that they would vanish like water that runs away and an arrow that is blunted. This is a super intense thing. For what purpose? Just that they would be harmed and destroyed? No, the key is here in verse 11, that mankind will say, surely there's a reward for the righteous. Surely there's a God who judges on the earth. And there is. There is a God who judges on the earth. And there is a God who rewards the righteous. It doesn't always turn out like we want it to turn out or we, the way we think it deserves to turn out. But there is a reward for righteous living. When we have Christ as our Savior, when we have his righteousness rather than our own, we get his righteousness. We don't deserve it. We all have problems. None of us are living this life perfectly. None of us are living this life correctly. And perfection is what it requires to be with God. And yet through Jesus, we can have his reward and be with God for eternity. Ultimately, it's not about our doing. And yet our doing on earth corresponds directly with how God created the earth. And so there is a reward just in living for God correctly. Beyond that, there is a God who judges. I mean, God doesn't just let things go willy-nilly. God says this is right. God says these are wrong. And he places things in order the way they should be. Now, again, we're not God. Just like in the beginning, it says the, about the mighty God, the mighty lords, 
Are we in charge? Do we understand fully? No, we don't. But God does. And he knows how things are supposed to go. And so here's, here's the encouraging part. First of all, there is a reward for righteous living. We don't get to define what that looks like, but there is a reward for righteous living. Live for God. Do your best to live for God. And don't worry, like we said, saw the last uh, Psalms, he's taking care of it. He's working out those processes, those purposes in you, which is awesome. You just live for God. And number two, know that there is a God who judges on the earth. Those who are not living correctly will get their comeuppance. But that's not about us. We need to be living for God. And that's what I encourage for us today. Let's live for God. Now, we've been doing these videos for 58 videos. And it has been awesome hanging out. I love doing this. And we're not stopping. But I do want to remind you, hit that thumbs up button if you would. If you would subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. Doing that allows us to con continue to grow and continue to develop. In fact, through that, um, when we get 100 subscribers, we're able to put Crossroads of Custer at the top of our YouTube, and that lets people find us easier. If you found this uh, helpful today, why don't you send it out? Share it so other people can see it and they can be encouraged too. Also, we do meet every week uh, at 1010 in Crossroads, South Dakota, here at Crossroads Church. Custer, South Dakota at Crossroads Church, excuse me. And we also meet online on YouTube, again, at Crossroads of Custer. Uh, you search that in YouTube and you'll find us right there. We would love to hang out with you on Sunday morning and just continue to dig into things. Right now, we are going through the prodigal son and we're actually looking at the older brother and seeing how much we often are like the older brother and what we need to do to be less like the older brother and more like one who loves God for who God is. Also, well, that's it. I'd love to see you there. Whether I see you uh, here at, in Custer at Crossroads Church, or I see you online at YouTube, or I see you when Christ returns, we'll see you real soon.